Sophia is a play about revenge, um, a woman whose husband has left her for another woman, and uh, she goes on this journey to um, avenge herself. It's just a story of betrayal of the man to the woman, uh, Medea, Jason. He betrays her by leaving, leaving the house and the children to marry the princess of the country that they live in, and he never told her about his plan to do so. And so she's the ultimate woman scorned. My name is Seth Bowling, and I am a senior in the BFA acting program here at the U. I play the role of Jason and Aegeus. I'm Michelle Edwards, and uh, I am a third year MFA um, acting student in the department, and I am playing Medea. My name is Deborah Voss, and I am a third year graduate student at MFA in directing. I am currently directing Medea. It's, it's a difficult role to have to you know, explore these different dimensions ever because you definitely want uh, the audience to have sympathy for her. Um, part of the thing, she kills her children at the end of the play. And so it's one of those challenges of how do you, you know, justify that as an actor and how do you, you know. To play two different characters for this particular production, um, having two parts, I'm basically the good guy and the bad guy me as an actor having to play her friend and also her enemy. But Jason's not necessarily her enemy, he's, he's just confused on how to show love. We had a rehearsal last week where I actually had two children come in and um, say their lines and interact with the actors and it was a difficult rehearsal for a lot of the actors and brought things up to real stakes for them which is absolutely necessary for this production. We perform behind masks, so it has been um, a challenge physically. Um, not so much in terms of stamina or control, but bringing the character in front of the mask behind, you know, and it's, it's a very, because you're covered, you know, you can't see your face, and so you have to depend on your body to express these emotions. You can't use your eyes, you know, uh, even sometimes your mouth to smile can be lost because these masks are such a, a dominant part of the, of the costume. So it's ac actually getting you to go beyond the mask is the challenge. The masks for this play definitely help with um, differentiating the characters um, from an uh, exterior way because you can look at yourself and be completely changed with masks. You don't have to worry about um, changing yourself too much just like with voice and attitude because the masks are because that's what people see so you can't have expression on your face. I've always found it a challenge. A lot of people that have done mask work find it a lot easier to you know be lose themselves in it. I find it very inhibiting and I feel trapped behind the mask. So um, it's been a challenge for me and that that respect. Um, just in creating the character and having that freedom. Even if you have a mask on, there's always that part of you in there. Like, because there'll never be a part where there isn't Seth in there. Um, but with a mask, it's easier to hide that aspect because your face is gone and your costume is taken care of. So um, it's, it's easier for someone to come see it and not know it's me. But I don't think there's ever a part there's not a little bit of Seth in. She's described as this lioness, and one thing that lionesses will do is kill their children before any other enemy can kill them. It's been a lot of work, and it's been a lot of hard work, and it hasn't been easy. Um, but I think the payoff will be wonderful. Truly wonderful. At the heart of these two people's story, it's the two people that love each other. And it's just what happens when 
someone betrays your love and trust. Boundless horror! I understand what I am about to do, but the rage in my heart is stronger than my reason! difficult task to dig inside yourself and have to deal with the idea of killing your little kids. I think the whole concept of losing so your child you is sort of a universal thing, just that that fear and that unbelievable, like, it's just, it's unfathomable to you. So it's just sort of like letting that feeling come over you and exploring it. I became your father and your 